All right, we'll start you right out with a look at the satellite and radar, and we see a clear area here in northern portions of Minnesota. More clouds as we look off to the west, some low pressure developing out there, and things are already turning unsightly, if you will, out to the west. Winter weather advisories for portions of western North Dakota and south central North Dakota for snow that is flying near Glasgow, Montana. This activity is spreading in our general direction as we head into the weekend. But for now, 37 Roseau, 35 in Bedette, and 40 is south of there with 43 for Detroit Lakes. Right now, Grand Forks, you have 42 as the latest reading on the thermometer. At Hector International, 44 degrees. The wind this hour is calm. It's pretty pleasant outdoors. Get out and enjoy because changes will begin in the overnight hours. And for you hunters out there, Here's an idea of how things are going to transpire as we head through the overnight hours. First and foremost, as we go through the evening, the clouds stay put. And by 10 o'clock tonight, we could see a few sprinkles hitting the ground, mainly in our southern and eastern counties from the Red River Valley and points east. Still clear skies up to the north and to the east, and I expect temperatures to fall just a little quicker out there. We'll be in the low 30s as we head to bed tonight. Wind still light and variable. Overnight, that's when things start to change. Storm system develops and intensifies a little bit in the western Dakotas. So overnight, periods of snow out there. This will impact our westernmost counties. So if you're in Barnes County and uh, Stutzman County, and even up in the uh, New Rockford area, a chance for some morning flakes by daybreak. We could see some showers or light snow as we look into southeast North Dakota, but in Minnesota for the deer opener, things look for the most part quiet. The best chance of some rain or mixed precipitation will be in southwestern North Dakota. Temperatures near 30 to 35 degrees for all of us. Now, heading toward midday, where does the snow go? Well, it continues out in the central Dakotas and our western counties. So, Valley City, south towards Ellendale, you folks might be seeing some accumulation by this time. We're talking one to three inches is a pretty good bet in some of this, so that kind of soggy, wet, slushy type of snow to drive through. So if you're commuting out to the west, keep that in mind. Everyone cool. For hunters, wind will be out of the east or southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour, so keep that in mind. But look at this, even some sunshine north as we go through the afternoon hours, and by the evening, this storm system will be wrapping to the south and east. So southwest Minnesota could see some rain or mixed precipitation throughout the day. By the evening hours, this system will be winding down. So in Fargo, 33 to start, we will have a chance of some rain possibly at times making, mixing with a little bit of snow. Fargo, I don't think we see any accumulation, but you get out to the west, that's a possibility. Temperatures peaking only near 40 degrees. Same thing for Grand Forks. You'll see a little sun in the Northern Valley and Northern Minnesota as well. Temperatures not too bad, the wind fairly light, the best chance of precipitation in our Southern and Western counties. As we take a look at the uh, photo of the day, here's this guy waiting for uh, winter to start, getting all prepared. Thanks, Bruce, for taking the time to send us your photo from near Devil's Lake. Planning forecast, Sunday, much quieter. Remember to set those clocks back Saturday night. Ah, the sun doesn't last forever, though. By Monday night, we'll see some late showers pushing into the region after 45 to 50 degrees for some in the south. And uh, the rest of the week, well, it looks cold. Uh, this guy wants me to say it again, so we'll put the graphic <laughs> up there one more time. On election day, 40 degrees and windy with a chance of mixed precipitation. Look at those temperatures late week. Highs in the 20s. Mm -hmm. Andrea, if you want to go make an ice rink in your backyard, oh. you know, it'll freeze. There you go. And it'll stay below freezing all day. Yeah. So <laughs> there there's go. good news for some folks. Yeah, don't let the cold weather stop you from going out to vote. No, right? definitely not. There you go. Thanks, Hutch. You bet.